All right, so I just made a free app for high level that actually summarizes your phone calls. It's way cheaper than the competition because I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna take this opportunity to shit on this uh, company. So AI call summarizer, they don't realize I was the first one to make AI call summaries for high level. So that's their first mistake. And I also have a bigger company that I'm focusing on where I'm going to charge $500 a month as opposed to $20 a month or whatever for call summaries. So I don't really care. I'm going to make this app free. And I just want to show you this app is actually like kind of insane. So I'll give, they have nice pictures, right? But if we go down to their pricing, actually we'll hit install and we'll hit, we'll scroll down here and we'll see that they have a few different plans. So they have one where you can try it out for 10 minutes a month. And they only let you transcribe based on a certain threshold of minutes per month, which really annoys me because you don't know how much you're going to need to transcribe. Some months it might be 10,000 minutes and some months it might be zero, right? Maybe you go on vacation or whatever. So this just annoys me, this fixed pricing. My first app had pay-as-you-go pricing. So, um, And I just want to show you transcribe limit is 50,000 minutes for $2,100 per month. So presumably this is their lowest price because it's at volume. And so let's go 2,100 divided by 50,000 minutes. And what we'll see here is that per, um, maybe we can do dollars. We'll see that per minute, you're paying about four cents per minute of transcription, of summarization, right? Four cents per minute at $2,000 a month. Well. This is how this app works, okay? You have to have the default high-level call summaries turned on because that's how this app is free. I don't pay anyone to transcribe the call. We use the built-in one, and that has an, a very nice benefit. So if we go over to voice calls, you saw you know phone numbers, advanced settings, voice calls. You can enable call transcriptions, and I'll show you this. Basically what it does is it makes it so that when this loads, so that you can actually view the call transcript, and it breaks it down perfectly by speaker okay this is the issue i mean first of all if you want to view the transcript with that other app guess what you're going to pay four cents a month for this transcript plus four cents a month four cents a minute for the summary whereas this is just four cents a minute for high level i uh i didn't show you that but but check it out it's 3.7675 cents per minute so this is actually cheaper than the other option um, so yeah, I mean, it's just kind of insane, but we have this call transcript here and what that does is it allows us to know exactly who's speaking and at what time, because if you use deep gram or open AI or anyone else who does speech to text, all they get is the, the call recording URL from Twilio, right? This. Yeah, yeah my, my audio. audio. Oh, geez. Yeah, so anyways, it, it was weird because I'm using my phone right next to me to test it out. But all they get is that, and so they don't know who's speaking. And they try to tell based on the sound of the speaker's voice, and it's terrible. Like, I was using DeepGram, and it would have, like, five speakers when it's really only two speakers. So it does a terrible job of telling the difference between speakers. And this causes a problem when you just want to get, like, accurate summarization and accurate data for your business. Um, so what we do instead is we, we use this transcript, which actually breaks it down perfectly. And then I'll show you the result here. So basically what we end up with is we can actually tell exactly how long the speaker, how long, you know, your high level user spoke for versus the contact that they're calling or that called in. Um, and so, I mean, it's just incredible because if you want to know like how well your salespeople are doing, you know, if they're dominating the call or if they're actually like listening to the prospect, this number will tell you that, right? If they're talking for 80% of the time, that's a terrible salesperson. I'm sorry. Um, then we have the call summary. And essentially the way it works is we have this workflow, which whenever a call is completed, it checks to see if call transcripts are enabled. If they are, then it processes that transcript and gives it back to you. So what we have is this long ass prompt. And then we have the call transcript itself. And we have the call transcript direction. And we're feeding that to ChatGPT. And then we put this into the notes. So uh, count talk time percentage. And of course we have things like the call duration as well and the message ID in case you need that. And then I have a little readme down here in this snapshot just so you can kind of understand how this workflow works. Um, so yeah, you, you are still gonna be paying for this premium action plus this premium action plus the call transcripts. 
but I think in total it's going to be much cheaper than that other app. And yeah, I'm really hoping people enjoy using this and then that they end up using my, my other app um, and paying me $500 a month. So yeah, that's the app. That's how to use it. Um, if you want to install it, I'm going to put the links below. One of them, actually, I'll just show you this. One of them is going to look like this. So if you want to install it on a location, it has to have your location ID in here. So basically what you would do is you would just copy this link. You'd come to your browser, open a new tab, and then double click on this location ID. So actually you can go copy location ID and then open a new tab and paste in that link and then get rid of this and paste in your location ID. And once you do that, then that should actually take you to the app listing. And here we go. And it's private for now. I don't have images. I'll probably do that tonight. And then for a company, it's much simpler. There's no ID to paste in. You just go to that page. So yeah, if you want to install the app, I encourage you to try it out. It should be fully functioning right now. And um, yeah, let me know if there's anything else you want.